I hope they're locked away in a safe place. I think it's a good idea. Really? To have a gun if you want to protect things. Wow. Do you want a gun? I have one. You have a gun? Yes. Where? Huh? Where is it? Better not be in like one of my drawers. <laughs> is it? Is it in my stuff? Where is it? You don't have a gun. I don't want you having a gun, by the way. I want... I want... You don't have good aim. Remember when we played that game at the fair? What game? <laughs> and I won the stuffed animal. I won it. No, I won it for you. I gave it to you. The watermelon. I won it. No, you didn't. I won it. I think I won no, it. No, I definitely won it. I gave all, it to you. That's not aim. That's That was aim. No, it's whack-a-mole. That's pretty much aim. It's more speed. Well, somebody not speedy. I don't want to... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You're, you're speedy. What, what would you do if you went on the train and you saw just some, some guy with a gun? Well, I need more context. You sat okay. Say, you, say you go on the train. Uh, it, you it, sit down in a chair. There's a guy, normal looking guy in a sweatshirt and sweatpants, and a, maybe a baseball cap, and he has a gun. I probably like on a subway train or you an would Amtrain. Move your seat. Probably, yeah. I'd be curious about it. But I mean, I'm... more likely that guy will kill you than not. <laughs> no, that's ridiculous. I mean, more likely. No. With a gun than without a gun. Would you be afraid of him if he was just a guy in a sweatshirt or a guy in a sweatshirt with a gun? Oh, what does the sweatshirt say on it? Gun. Yeah. I love guns. And well, by the way, people who love guns, like love them, I don't, I don't want to know anybody like that. Well, I, I'm a little weirded out by that too, but I, I do, uh, you know, I understand people want to protect themselves. Yeah. They want to protect themselves. They should buy shields. A bulletproof vest. That's protection. <laughs> well, they want to protect their family and want to have... Then some, buy them a bulletproof vest. And they vest. want to have... Some, Everybody should be getting bulletproof vests for Christmas. It's also, like, protection against, uh, like, it was also theories about if people are well-armed, if, if the government gets out of control, that they can't, you know, take away our rights. So then we'll kill people in the government? Don't, don't say that. Well, why are you saying that? If if the government turned, which it has in societies around the world throughout history, and be, like let's say like uh, you know extreme examples, which is how, like a Nazi Germany or so you think if one uh, guy happened to have a gun, that whole thing would have happened. What do you think would have happened if one, you know? I didn't talk, say one guy. I said it. What if if the whole nation is armed? It could be. It can. It can help it make it less likely for rights to be taken away that are. That are so, so uh, invasive and so like, you know, hor horrific that people have a right to revolt. Does that mean any time a doorbell rings, you're gonna get out your gun? No, I, I'm not like that. I don't well, have. A, I don't even had, have a doorbell. What if they had a? Uh, what if they came to the door, the Nazis, and you didn't have your gun? You you came downstairs. Every time you enter the door, you're not going to come. Right I didn't. Down, I, I didn't. I didn't say it was a perfect solution. Nothing is, and to to argue like that, I think is just silly. Like, well, well, it, yes, there's there. Are, but I'm saying overall, does it offer more protection? Perhaps. Have you ever met somebody that you were scared of at school or something? Hmm? Have you ever had a, a student in school that you were scared of that was a weird guy? Sure. Really? Well, and that guy was me. No. You're not scary. Thanks. Have yeah. You anybody scary? Have you ever seen someone? That you of course. Have you ever, wait, were you with me on the train when we had to move? I don't remember. I, I, I think you told me about you. I, I don't think I was with you that time. I think I remember you told me. Oh. But. Every time I'm on the train, I see somebody with a big bag, I move. Mm -hmm. What's What size bag are you comfortable staying with? Uh, a purse. That's enough for me. Oh. There's some people with some shady looking bags going onto that train. Hmm. You know those hard cases? So you think we should ban bags? Those hard case bags. Hard case bags. You know what I'm talking about? It's like a suitcase that's hard. Like a briefcase kind of? No, a suitcase. It's like... Yeah, I know what you mean. Like a hard case. I think I know what you it mean. It just looks like a bomb container. <laughs> Do 
Is there any resolutions? I won't go back to the elevator. Okay. Okay. Really? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna get a gun. Alright. Yeah, yeah. You, I don't want you with a gun. Why? Your aim isn't good. Stop saying that, first of all. And second of all, the only reason I'm... I need to get one is just... It's just, I don't... Are you going to carry it down the street? Well, you have to have a license for that. No, you should do it. You should tell people you have a gun, but not really have one. I think you should both have one and tell people you have one. I just feel like it being used against you is a high probability. You use that word so incorrectly. Which one? High probability. It's probable. No, it's not. It's not highly probable. No, it's not. It'll probably happen. That's first of all, God for thing about. Second of all, okay, probable, I think, basically means will happen. It's more than fifty percent likely. Yeah. So you're saying, like five times out of ten, or, or five point something times out of ten. Uh, Can you imagine our fights if one of us had a gun? <laughs> We wouldn't do that. No, but like I say, you just happen to have a gun on you, and I say the wrong thing. <laughs> I wouldn't do that, neither would you. You wouldn't until you get in the situation. I don't uh-huh. want you having a gun. <laughs> I'd be like, what's wrong today? I'd be like, something. We, we, we'd shoot in the air. <laughs> There'd be a lot of shots coming out. Huh? There'd be a lot of shots. No, I would I would never do that. And you know, our neighbors don't seem like the type of neighbors to call for help. People should have bull. Proof seat, uh, floors. Yeah. I, I wouldn't want anybody in our building having a gun. Well, I'm sure people do. Really? Yes. Assume people have guns. Assume people have guns? That's yes. the way we have to think now? What do you mean think now? Think that 20 years ago and think that 20 years from now. Well, more people are buying guns now than ever. Okay. Maybe we should, you and I should sell guns. I have guns. a question. You're, you don't eat meat, right? Uh, I, I, I lean against it. I avoid it. I, would, I you, don't. would you like to go hunting? I could Do you s- think that you could kill an animal? You, you don't let me fucking answer a question. I answer. Yes, I think I could kill an animal. Uh, and yes, I could see some of the joys of hunting, especially if you end up eating what you hunt. Um, do I also think there's cruelty to it? Yeah, sure. Do I choose to do it? No. But I can see it being fun for people to, like, say, I'm going to go find my food and, and uh, you know, and, and, and get it without, you know, just basically, not. The, I mean, going out to the woods and getting your food. I can see the, the appeal of that. Have you ever gone fishing? Yes. You feel bad for the fish? Yes. But I eat the fish, too. I've also gone fishing where you don't eat the fish, and that's I feel like almost bad. even worse. I agree, I agree, I agree. But uh, I haven't gone fishing for years. I think I want to stop eating fish. Now I think about it. A lot of PETA type people would agree with you that fish, uh, it's cruel to eat fish. We don't eat fish. What are we gonna eat? There's gonna be nothing to order. That's the only thing. No, there's tons of. I I love fresh vegetables and fresh fruit. Yeah. And, I know what you could do. First of all, I know you're recording this. And second of all, I know I, I know what you do now when you record things. You're gonna put little images and I'll say <laughs> you're gonna have to be a giant bell pepper. <laughs> maybe like me in a carrot outfit. Me, like, How'd you know? Huh? How'd you know? It's like in picture. <laughs> but yeah, there's lots of things to eat without. Now why are you thinking about stopping eating fish? Just because I just imagined fishing. I mean, I don't know how to. I don't know if you should, you should value a, a cow's life more than a salmon's life. A lot of people would agree with you. I, I, I do. They can't help but they're salmon. I, I do. Uh, first of all, uh, I've gone all the way vegan before, and I like that. I do feel cleaner that way. Cleaner both. Yeah, because you don't really know what's going on with a fish. Hygienically and, and you don't know what psychologically. He ate. Oh yeah, that can be really gross, gross. When, you think, when you think about that. But uh, 
Have you ever said, seen the inside of a shrimp? Ugh. I've cleaned fish before. I've never cleaned. I've never eaten shrimp knowingly or cleaned the shrimp. Um, but I've gutted fish. Really? But but I do think Did yeah. Feel bad. Uh, at the time I was doing it, it was more just gross mm-hmm. and kind of fascinating, but gross. Um, but uh, I uh, I do I do. Uh, lean towards the argument of the closer it is to human, the worse it is. Really? Yeah. Why? I, I don't know. It's just maybe it just seems more... It, I'm not saying it is more right, but that does seem more right. Now, I I am against eating the animals, like fish or... if I, I would lean against it, even though I do it. Like, I think it's wrong to eat fish. There's a moral wrong to it. But I feel I think it's more wrong to eat a cow. Maybe just like it's. I mean, 